What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and I still do not. My name is Klaus Hals, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking a look at a character which I really forgot. I wrote a guides, I wrote guides about him, I wrote posts about him, I tried to make him a more like a viable, kind of a more reliable choice because people did not believe in the new Nazebo. But I forgot to make videos about him, even though he was heavily changed. Well, today, uh, today that streak ends, and we're gonna jump into some Nazebo. There are three, by the way, there are three bills now circling about uh, around them. So in this video, I'm gonna try to explain one of them, Ex kind of explain the changes that happened in Nazebo and what what was the result, and basically what was the planned result and what was the end result. What uh, Blizzard got on that rework. So let's go. Alright boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Dragonshire map. This, this view is weird, I don't know, it's, it's different than what I'm used to, I, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so on this level range we are going to go, I'm actually not sure what build should I go for first. Should I go for spiders? Like I would like to have you guys here on the on the, on the the stream with me and tell me what to do, but uh, tell me which build to do, but... Uh, this map. Five, four, three, two, Things of the deep is very strong. Pandemic is. I mean, they are all pretty strong. Oh, let's go for. Let's go for the frogs build. Let's go for the frogs build. Um, it is definitely the easiest to play. You just shoot your frogs and you hope for the best. So his trait is called Voodoo Ritual. What it does. It basically when you kill a minion that's under the influence of your poison, basically you, you basically apply poison. Your basic attacks and abilities poison non-enemy, non-heroic enemies, causing them to take 69 additional damage over six seconds. What up? What up, dog? Uh, what up, Asmodan? My main man here. But yeah, so that, that's what it does, and then also. Um, by the way, it used to be so you had to pick up a talent for that. You had, you had to pick up a, a talent so it, it would stack. Um, so it would stack with um, you know you, you would you would, you would basically stack your trait to gain health, additional health and mana, and um, I think it was called like blood ritual or something. Or the blood or the blood ritual used to be the bad one, the one that would, that would regenerate health and mana. He's pushing me out pretty nicely now. Baby, how are we doing in the bottom? Right, so we have 13, which means I'm, I missed one minion. Hello. Hello. Let's go into this. Goddamn minions, bro. Look at that. They're annoying as fuck. Oh, looks like Chromie's here. Chromie's here for some fun. Hey, babe. Thank you, babe. All right, let's see. What, let's see what's up here. Yes, yeah, so that's his trait. It used to be only so it applied uh, poison, but I think it also applied poison to uh, heroes as well. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh, I think it was. Uh, it was. Um, I do believe it was a heroes as well. Anyway, um, our Q ability is is called Corp Spiders. Yes, it is called Corp Spiders. What it does now, it used to uh, shoot a jug that would um, that would explode anyway, like with spiders, and spiders would go to the nearest uh, ne nearest target. But now we actually have to hit people. So you go, you see there the, the three the three spiders spawn, and they, they just deal some uh, overtime damage. Why am I standing right in the middle of the wave, taking the entire dunk damage? What the fuck, Colo? And we're gonna we're gonna try to get as many stacks as we possibly can. You know, again, it's just gonna allow us to. Oh, 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 I think I'm dead. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm still dead. No, no, Samuro, nobody likes you. Fuck, Samuro, nobody likes you. I'm telling you. Anyway, um, I think I'm this level range. What do we go for? Increase the bonuses by 100% or blood ritual. Let's go for blood ritual. It's, it's gonna allow me to stay very very healthy in the lane. Anyway, I'm gonna explain the, all the talent choice, all the talent choices in a little while. 
Um, right, so our ability exactly is Corpse Spiders. Throw the spiders, they deal some DOT damage. Um, so now when you don't hit anything with your Q, just the spiders are not going to spawn, which means that the damage is not going to be there. Um, I think the damage on the initial impact was increased, and also the the speed of the projectile was also increased, uh, as well as the, in the latest part, just to kind of make it easier to hit to actually get the, the damage, you know, kind of relatively uh, more easy, um, relatively easier. There we go. Engl because Engl English is hard, right? Um, I'm still standing in this mother wave and taking all the dunk damage, boys. I mean, that's, that's, that's just the stuff I do right now, right? you know what I mean? Just, just the stuff I do. Our W ability is called Zombie Wall. I'm gonna throw out this zombie wall. <laughs> Basically, um, it spawns like, like this kind of like a circle wall of zombies. Uh, they're like kind of back to back to each other. And what, what they're gonna do, they're going to kind of close an enemy inside. They have, they have a little bit of health. That's a good one right there. The spirits aid me! And yeah, so they will kind of close the enemy, but also deal a little bit of damage, you know what I mean? Yeah! Dude, that chromic killing freaking Samuro? That's, that's, that's the first. That's a first. And then our e ability is called uh, the Plague Toads. The Plague of Toads. I'm basically gonna throw out a uh, Three. It used to be five. Uh, it used to be one charge. Now there's no. There's two charges. I throw out these um, these toads that will uh, that will kind of hop, hop, hop to a place. Um, they're very predictable. But in a team fight, again, how like how many um, like how many things can people actually um, focus on? You know, like they won't be they won't be seeing them, them too, too much. Uh, looks like we will, we will we will be picking up the Dragonite. My baby will be the one picking it up because we have double um, double support and doesn't actually matter in the quick match scenario too much. Anyway, um, so on level one, what we picked up was the Pandemic. It's basically a questing talent. Uh, when I hit heroes with uh, when I hit heroes with my E with my with my Toads, I am going to be increasing their damage. I believe. Oh. Oh my God. I tried to make it make this so so like next level with with the with, with the goddamn toads and the freaking min in front of me took the fucking damage. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, so actually, it's not gonna increase my damage. I'm I'm just lying to you guys. I, I think it, it used to be that, but most importantly, what it's gonna do for you, it is going to um, increase the number of toads to five. So it's kind of kind of going gonna, it's going to go to kind of a. Um, Old school kind of, um, you know, old school kind of um, toads, right? But it's gonna be two charges of that. We're not doing too hot on the stacks though now, so I'm not expecting uh, to finish them uh, for very soon, just because Asmodan is like, you know, it's very hard to stack these against Asmodan just because. Come back here, piece of shit! I want to stack on you. You're not allowing me to stack. There we go, I'm, I'm gonna stack a bunch. Yeah! So there's my Gargantua on my level 10 heroic. What it's gonna do is basically gonna spawn this big ass dude, just deal some damage. Um, he, he hits his things. I can also reactivate my R now to make him smash into the ground. He's really good for, for clearing, uh, clearing camps, um, but also zoning enemies. He deals very deceptive amounts of damage. People still do not. Uh, People still kind of underestimate how good he uh, like he really is in a team fight, but also uh, they do, they do not just use him enough. He's he's supposed to be used to clear camps. He's supposed to be used, you know, to um uh, to clear uh, maybe heavy push or stuff like that. So don't be afraid to use to use him for that. Anyway, I've been staying here the entire entire game. So let me actually go and explore the map a little bit more, shall we? Um, on level four, we picked up Blood Ritual. What it's gonna do when I kill a minion? 2% of my maximum health and mana is going to return for, uh, return to me, which is basically what allows me to sustain. You can see, we're gonna kill minions. Bam! It basically has to be has to be minions that um, that have my trait on it, you know, that have the poison on it. But honestly, if I'm in the lane, that means that the poison is going to be on them. I'm actually doing pretty hot on the stacks, dog. Oh shit! Yeah. 
interesting. Okay. Oh yeah! There we go. We're gonna try to zone them out, and we'll be fine. Thank you, baby, for the healing totem. I'm gonna go and grab the thing for us. On the we're gonna go for garden toads again. I'm gonna explain everything as we go with the game. Um, toads of fusions used to be much, much farther down in the in the kind of tree of uh, of of the skills, but boy, what it does every single hop now uh, the 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 toads will gain 20 percent of their um, of their damage so the damage is going to increase oh you, you're actually gonna allow me to stack on, on on you pretty nicely yeah let me stack on you brother let me stack on you come here come here yeah yeah come on Come on, bro. Oh my god, now he's complete. He's going in hard. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can, I can still kill you, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I can still kill you, brother. I mean, I can't be too overzealous, but I, I still think I, I can I can kill you pretty nicely. Oh shit, now, now the medic is here. No, no, no. Okay, we got you, we got you. I, th I thought he was going to kill me. I was like, <gasps> I would have just failed on the camera right there. Yeah, so we picked up Gargantua on level 10. Um, did I actually explain what the what the towards the fusions will do? Uh, they're gonna increase the damage every single hop. So you see, they get bigger as they as they progress. Yeah, get that damage, brother. Get that damage. Ah, oh, uh. that was actually a lot of damage from those spiders. Um, yeah, so they're gonna increase the damage by twenty percent every single hop. Thank you, babe. Oh shit, babe, watch out. He has, he has a stim drone on him. Yeah, babe. Got him! Easy right here. Three stacks on that Illidongers as well. Eh. Okay, it looks like they, they did grab bottom. But I think we're gonna be we're gonna be grabbing it back. Oh, the next level plays by the enemy Illidan. Yeah, walk right into it, brother. Walk right into it, my friend. No one gives a single shit. Oh my god. Okay, I, I still didn't kill him. Uh, again, again, my damage is not that impressive now, but we, we are seeing up 33 stacks now. So, yeah, so Gargantuan level 10, um, our other heroic choice, I don't think it would, would have been good here because I thought that the enemy Illidan went, would, would go. Oh shit, there's a uh, Samra here. Save me! Yeah. The sound's gonna come out. Come out. Go, I'm going to slam that, <laughs> slam that alien into the ground with my gargantuan. What is going on here right now? Whoa! That's so many samros. By the way, Samro is actually very bad now. I, I don't think he's he's that good anymore. He's definitely not on any good at all. Uh, I'm gonna go for Soul Harvest in this level range. I do believe I'm the believer of Soul Harvest. I do very, very like. Oh my God! Oh yeah! Yeah. So basically, one thing you have to you have to know about Nazebo is that he makes very obnoxious noises. Very, very obnoxious. I'm gonna go for Soul Harvest here. We did finish our quest. Therefore, now we're gonna be shooting out five toads rather than three every single time. Let's see. That actually wasn't that. Um, ah, I missed that. I missed that. <laughs> did did she really just stim the enemy? The enemy Liam? Eh? What the fuck? That's the real one. That's the real one. I got, I got spiders on him. I got sp sp spooders on him. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's see. I want to see those five toads. Yeah. Look at it. Five toads. If they get to maximum range, they can deal some very, very deceptive amounts of damage. And honestly, it's um, like after the po after the point where you where you stack your where you stack your stuff, like it is it is just just like winning this game is just walking apart. Oh, he's in the wall. Oh, he's in the wall. 
What you gonna do now? Okay, you're gonna kill the zombies. Yes, the zombies are still pretty weak, anyway. Um, level 13 went for Guardian Toads, which allows us to gain resistance. Basically, 25, reducing our damage by 25%. We, uh, the damage we take um, by 25% whenever we hit a hero with our E, with, our, you know, with one of our Toads, which is obviously pretty strong. You know, we have five of those motherfuckers now. So, pretty damn strong, if you ask me. You'll, you'll basically be having... You'll basically be you'll basically be having resistance every single time you cast your E, pretty much, which is a lot, which is a lot. And then Soul Harvest. It's a very very interesting ability that was really undervalued by by a lot a lot of players. Uh, activate to increase health and ability power for every enemy around you. I think it's gonna be like five percent and it's up to twenty five percent. Yeah, so you be, pretty much have to gain. You pretty much have to hit five enemies with this. It doesn't deal any damage. Um, but it will just kind of like the it will just harvest souls and just give you the additional health. Twenty five percent. So I can come here. Look at that. Bam. Twenty five percent increased um, increased ability power and twenty five percent increased health. How crazy is that, boys? Pretty goddamn crazy. Oh, Morales got wrecked. Oh shit. Damn, he got fucked by that damage. God damn, that's just not even fun. That's not even funny. Where are you going? Where are you going, Lee Ming? Kill her. Alright, somebody take the point. Look at that, look at the haps. Look at the haps and look at the damage afterwards. It's actually pretty uh, pretty disgusting how much um, damage over time I can do with this build. Um, right, so... Let me just kind of talk about the changes that really happened to Nazebo. Um, the plan was to make him less of a pop stomper. He used to be like a pop stomper in very, very like lower levels of uh, lower levels of P uh, of Pierre. The fuck, lower lower levels of play. There we go. Because English is hard. Um, <clears throat> be, just because you know he was very good at, at everything and nobody really knew how to play against them. Um, it really, really depended on the team comp um, if you could counter him or not. Um, he doesn't have a, like counters per se, and, like no, no hero in the game actually counters him. It's just kind of like the, like the usual stuff that's you know that's there, like the hard engager. He's right here. Yeah. Look at look look at the deeps. Look at the deeps. He's dead. He's dead as fuck. He can't do anything. Whoa! He kicked him away. I'm. I'm gonna go fury, the fury of the storm. Maybe I should went for the for the other talent. Yeah, maybe I should went for the other talent because I already have 160 stacks. There we go. We got him. Um, yeah, and they they try to raise his um, his skill kind of skill ceiling and skill floor at the same time, just because he was just trash in in the higher levels of play. Um, he used to be honestly one of the worst characters you could pick in the in the higher levels, like of the hero league, of team league, um, just because he didn't exhale anything. He still doesn't. He still doesn't exhale anything. He's really good at um, kind of dealing the. Um, uh, he's very good at dealing sustained damage. And kind of, he's a very good pusher when he when he specs for it. But other than that, he's uh, he doesn't really exhale at anything. Um, so what I picked up at level twenty is just normal furious warm. What it does every five seconds, your next basic attack will be dealing some heavy heavy damage. Plus also cleave onto the nearby enemies. Every five seconds, your next basic, basic attack will deal additional two hundred damage to the target, and five hundred damage to all nearby minions. And mercenaries, which again just allows you to push the shit out of uh, minion waves in the late game. Not going, not going to be necessarily needed. That's why I picked it up because every five seconds you'll be just dealing that two hundred additional damage, which is pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good, if you ask me. Why do you try to hit me, bro? Like, do you not learn? Do you not learn, bro? You know. <laughs> He just doesn't learn! Let, let me take that count for free, thank you! No, he is complete! I'm gonna close him in the fucking wall, boys! 
I just closed an Illidan in the wall, he doesn't know what to do. Um, by the way, Medic is right here. Almost. How are we doing on that Illidan? Oh. <laughs> he just died to a fucking... He, he died for so hard. Is he slowed? Oh my! <gasps> Look at the deeps right here! Oh, I might die myself! No, I'm good. I'm good. With the help of my, my baby girl, my girlfriend, and the enemy Malfurion, I'll be able to uh, get all the health that I need to survive. And yeah, I actually should have picked up the other talent. Uh, basically, what's, what what should I picked up was a vile infection. What it does after reaching 150 stacks, my um, like my bonuses that I get will also apply to heroes, and it's actually very very just the amount of damage how much you can do with your poison when it actually applies to heroes. Um, yeah, and, and it's increased by 200 percent, which is just crazy, crazy boys. Right, so I'm gonna come in here, run right in the middle, put, put down the Gargantua, and let, let him slam a little bit. Yeah, make him slam. There we go, we got a key part of that. That's the real one right here. He's dead. I don't know why he went into his ultimate again, by the way. Uh, I guess he just wanted to be to become unstoppable. <laughs> Look at our, uh, our Li Ming, not wasting time at all. She's all productive and stuff. Oh, let's... Uh... But let our toads go. Oh shit. That, that was an orb. She went for a W build. That's so bad. Let, let, the, let, let them orbs go, bruh. Let them orbs go. Now he is complete. He went right in my spider, by the way. And he's silenced. He cannot jump on anything like that. There we go. Now we can jump. I'm gonna shoot this behind me to maybe hit the enemy medic. She's taking all the DOT in the world, of course. And she's gonna be taken down with the um, with the help of the planet from the friendly team. Anyway, yeah, so he was changed really in a way to kind of make him again a little bit more skillful. Like just you no, know, just to, just so picking him up doesn't doesn't seem like it's I guess we we could just finish the game right here, boys. She should just do it alone. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Thank you, babe. <laughs> um, so, how how was he changed? You know, how basically, how did he change? But, well, uh, his spiders, again, do not, um, just do not explode all the time like you have to actually hit the targets for them to explode and deal the damage um that's that's one change um the i think the range of his w was was decreased again that, that's a, that's a very big change uh, it it kind of makes you um it kind of makes you really um think about hitting your uh, hitting your skill shots right like that um um, your E ability was again was actually put into two um, like two charges rather than just one, and that really makes you kind of focus more on hitting it. Um, again, you have a little bit less, um, a little bit less damage with every single charge, but you have two of them, so you can kind of split your damage. And also, uh, his entire tree of talents was just reworked. He doesn't have he doesn't have any generic talents anymore. He's all he's all himself for a character now, and he has a three very very viable builds, which I'm gonna be uh, probably making a video about. This is the first one, the the Toads build. I don't think it went one bit bad, even though I was the best in the team. I still wasn't the MVP for some for some reason. You guys saw my stats right there, right? You guys saw my goddamn stats. Oh, I died once. They really die once? I don't remember me dying. I did. I did die. When, when did they die? I don't know, but you can see the you know the damage that we do it kind of stacks up. You know the 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 damage from the poison actually adds up a lot, especially when it's from the toads. Um, let me see if I actually missed anything. Um, I want to check. 
Plague of Toads, um, exponent contact dealing 126 damage over time. Uh, this effect stacks. Yeah, so the more they, the kind of the more toes hit one enemy, the more uh, DOT they will be taking damage over time. They will be taking. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for Nazebo. Um, again, what I want to say is much more of a viable pick now. You should you should actually pick him when there's um, when there's an opportunity that you will be able to to push. A lane un uninterrupted you should definitely go and pick him up he's a good uh, he's a good wave clearer he's not as good as Zul um, who's another good wave clearer um, the Haka is not as good as these guys but he definitely can clear lanes for for himself and really claim um, really claim uh, a lane to himself especially after level 4 when you uh, after you pick up the blood ritual um, right, so on a level one, we picked up Pandemic, which after hitting forty heal, which is a lot, by the way, I think we uh, we only stacked it very late in the game just because Asmodan was sitting behind his minions all the time, so I couldn't hit him with with the actual um, um, toads. But if I would have been in, a, in any other lane, maybe Odin would have been jumping me. I could have been uh, stacked up before level ten, I believe. Uh, so after hitting, after hitting forty heroes of with Plague of Toads, it spawns two additional toads. So you're going to be hitting basically the old school five toads, but in two charges, which is just crazy. Level four, I picked up the blood ritual, basically, which would allow me to sustain in a lane. Uh, if enemy dies while poisoned by wood ritual, restore two percent of your maximum health and mana. So it doesn't have to be a minion, but it can be a minion, it can be a mercenary, and it can be a hero. So just anything that dies within you that has that has its poison on it will pretty much give you um, the additional health and mana. Of course, you can't really count uh, like minions on Infernal Shrines or the ones on the like, Garden of Terror. You can't really count those just because they, they're not enemy. They're just kind of their kind of the PvE uh, type of um, type of enemies. On level 7, I did go for Toads of Fusion. is basically increasing the damage that uh, that they do with every single hop um, by 20% up to 80%. That was the, one of the abilities that was buffed in the, in the latest patch. I think it used to be like 15% and then it used to start, it used to kind of like max out at 60%. So it is a good change. You're not going to see it because again, you, you can let them go. And if they hit something, they will hit something. They're very, very predictable. They, but again, in a team fight, uh, if enemies get hit by an 80% toad, they'll be taking a shit ton of ability damage of just DLT. Level 10, we did go for Gargantuan, but you also have Ravenous Spirit. Ravenous Spirit kind of um, ma it makes you stay there in one place. That's why I don't like it. It's very, very easy interruptible because you ma it makes you, makes you go there and channel for a second. You're just standing there. You can't do anything. You just channel this um, this spirit that just kind of goes and hit hit enemy heroes that deals a little, a little, just a heavy damage per second, basically. But while you're standing there. People can damage you. People can uh, stun you, which will basically stop your, your channel. I was like, I was afraid of the alien going hunt. That's why I did. I didn't go for the ravenous spirit. I went for Gargantuan. It's just very, very good. You put down this guy that's that's there for twenty seconds. He will deal damage uh, with his basic attacks, and he will deal damage when he stomps enemies. He's very good for uh, for for clearing waves, um, maybe heavy waves of minions um, of mercenaries. Uh, very, very good for zoning enemies out. So. It's great. Level 30, uh, 13 way to go for Garden Toads. Again, just kind of further um, synergizing with our build hero, which is going for the Toads. But this is going to give us a little bit more survivability. Whenever we hit an enemy hero with uh, with our E, with our Toad, we will be taking 25% less damage for 2 seconds, which is basically going to give us resistance. On 16, we did go for a Soul Harvest, which I do, do really enjoy with this build, just because it gives you ability power. And all of your damage here on with this build, which I guess any build with a Zebo kind of um, kind of is here with ability damage. So your E, your Q, your W is all ability damage. So you you, you increase it by twenty five percent, and suddenly you're just melting down enemies who did not expect the damage coming their way. And on a level, so basically what it does, uh, you activate it, and for the all enemies around you, it all enemies. It doesn't have to be heroes. It's enemies, so it's minions, mercs, and stuff like that as well. You activate it. You gain five percent for every single one hit, up to twenty-five percent. So you get you can get a quarter, an additional quarter of your health, plus 
um, and 25% increase in your ability power for 15 seconds, which is pretty goddamn sick if you ask me. Um, with every single other build, we probably we will be going for something else, but again, this is one of the builds that really can take soul harvest and really, um, and at the same time benefits a, a lot. Level 20, we did go for the Fury of the Swarm, even though I should have went for the Violent Faction. It was just much better. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Fury of the Swarm, every 5 seconds is going to make me, it's going to make my basic attack much, much stronger, and also pretty much kill all the minions in the lane, uh, in the lane nearby, if I'm fighting in the lane, of course. But Violent Faction, on the other hand, would have been just much better. After reaching 150 stacks of Vigil Ritual, it can uh, also be applied to heroes, and its damage is increased by 200%, which allows you to clear... Uh, waves just in an instant and also just deal some massive massive damage so if you're stacking it is if you're stacking of your trait it goes very very well you can go for violent infection uh even if a level 20 you're not still 150 but you're like 140 145 if you're above 440 you can go for violent infection if you're below 140 i would not advise advice of going doing that just because how much longer the game is gonna go? You have to ask yourself. If it's gonna be finishing soon, you need that. You need that good value, which is exactly what I thought. Fury of the Swarm. You, you, you need that value right now. But if you're still not finished with the Vile Infection by level 20, and it's a very very questionable choice, just because, um, well, you don't want to be spending your time in the lane in the late game to kind of to, to, to get your stack. So try to do that in the early game. Try to stack it up like I did in this game. I actually showed it perfectly, perfectly how to do it, and it should be fine. It should be fine, and this is honestly give you so much damage that you would never expect Nazebo to do. Anyway, guys, hope you guys, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this video. If you did, stop that like rating. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. In the next one. I think we're going to be taking a look at Valor or, or Full Set. I think it's be Full Set. We have to take a look at our Colossal's fucking Lightning Build um, version 3. So, um, I'll see you then. Take care and peace out.